Hello, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our expanded form pickup game. And if you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games and puzzle games and teaching tools to play and use, and there's never any membership or sign-up required, and they're all free to play. Okay, let's take a look at the game, and when you first start the game, this is what you'll see, the, the main menu. Um, the video button will take you to the page on MathNook that has this video on it in case you would like to see that again. The more games button will take you to our sister site lofgames.com. They also have free math games and puzzle games to play and there's never any membership or sign up required and they're all free to play. The instructions will give you the instructions and they're really not much. I'm going to I'm going to discuss the text here because uh, I'll be going over the game, but I do want to show you that shows the controls here and on touch devices it says you'll be using the on-screen joypad to control the truck. But what I wanted to show is this button here, and this will say, do you want to clear all data? And that's referring to your high score data. So in case somebody else has been playing on this and racked up a high score and you want to reset it, you'll just click the check mark button here, and that'll reset it back to zero, and you can start back over with your own high score. So then you can click the X if you don't want to do that, and click this. This will take you to the main menu. This game will be in the... Um, place value section on MathNook, and you can find that by going to the main page. There's a game listing uh, towards the top uh, by skill, and uh, the, the skill you'd be looking for, it's, it's a text link, and it says place value. You click that, it'll show you all our place value games along with our expanded form games, and this game will be on that particular page. Okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start, it says at the top, place box is based on the expanded form number below. So you have 500 plus 90 plus 1. And the object is to, let me go ahead and fill them in the correct slot down here. So you have the 100's place, 10's place, and the 1's place. The, um, you can see the little mini map here, and you can see where you're at. The uh, boxes that you need to pick up, the little digit boxes that go in here, are scattered around here on the map. And uh, here's your score, here's your high score, the level you're on, and how many lives you have. You have three lives, and once uh, uh, you lose all lives, then the game will be over. Um, if you put, the way you lose lives, if, life is if you put a number box in the wrong slot, or a digit box in the wrong slot. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm using the, uh, the WASD keys on the keyboard, or the arrow keys. Oop, I've got a... That will be corrected. That's not. I'm going to use a WASD. I need to put in the um, check for the arrow keys and not to move the browser. So I'll use the WASD keys. We'll go, we're looking for boxes right now. There's the nine box, nine digit. And I'm going to go ahead. I'll show you what first what it's like to fill up the boxes and move to the next level. This is goes in the ten digit place and you just go there and. You can see you get a little celebration confetti going. There's a five box, and that'll go in the hundreds place. And you can run into the buildings. It doesn't do anything. The only way you can lose a life is by putting a digit box in the wrong spot. Now, I need to go track down the ones box. And as you can see, I've got the... Uh, nines digit in the tens place and the five digits in the hundred because they're both green i'm missing the uh, ones digit which will go in the ones place and look and there it is so go ahead and find that pick it up i mean and let's take it down to the ones digit place there you go now Okay, it says, congratulations, you've completed the level, and then I get a new number. Now, I think every four um, levels, I think every four levels, you get a little bit larger number. So it does get a little bit uh, harder to play, but uh, not that much difficult. It plays the same, nothing different there. Okay, I'll show you what happens when you lose a life, or how to lose a life, I should say. And let's see if we see any boxes. There's a four box. And a lot, of, a lot of times, I'll as soon as I pick up a box, I'll go this other route to see 
on the way back, see if I can see where the other boxes are. So this should go in the ones place, but I'm going to put it in the hunters place. And you can see it explodes. It says, oops, that digit box doesn't go there. And it starts back over and, and uh, the ones, uh, the box that I picked up will be back out on the streets again. So what I didn't just talk about, and this is pretty much standard, but the, the, you can turn the sound on and off and the music on and off. These are just toggles, and this is the menu button. So that's how you play the game. I hope you have fun playing this game. Hope the video helps some, and thanks for watching.